running for the Mistress of Africa title is not only about good looks, but also about a lot of hard work, dedication and community service. This is what former Mr. P.E. and current Mr. South Africa finalist Denver Burns found out as he prepared for the final stretch before the gala event in March. Burns, who is the only Eastern Cape representative in the competition, became involved in the competition in 2009 after friends and family encouraged him. I did a bit of research on the internet. I had seen one or two things and, and it, it did interest me. So I thought, well, let me give it a go. Um, the worst that can happen is we try and we don't make it. Um, and the best that can happen is you can possibly win it. So I thought, well, give it a chance. You only live once, so let's give it a try. As a lifesaver and former water polo coach, the young lawyer has used his passion for swimming to help others. Luckily, <laughs> I was brought up in a swimming background and so taught to swim at a very, very young age. And at the semi-final stage where we had to raise funds for the Mr. South Africa charity, I incorporated swimming into, um, <coughs> excuse me, into the fundraising um, aspect in which I did a swim from Kuka Harbour all the way across Algoa Bay, which is a distance of 30 kilometers, and finished at the beach um, right in front of the Radisson Hotel. And in conjunction with that swim, we ran a swimming clinic for underprivileged children from a <coughs> primary school in New Brighton. If he does win the title, Byrne's biggest dream is to be a role model for young South African men.